everybody. I'm in Houston for a few days. Anyway, we're here. Me and the boys. The boys and I. We are here. However you want to say it. And uh, it is Friday morning now and I'm going to go out and hit some garage sales. But first, coffee. And second, I have to go back to the house because my parents are still not up. So I can't. I mean, the boys are. They're up. Okay, I didn't leave my boys unattended. My mom's awake, but she's not like right I don't know if that makes sense but anyway <sighs> she's up enough to have told me she wants a blueberry muffin so I'm going to Starbucks get a coffee and a muffin for my mom um, yeah my parents don't drink coffee they are hot tea drinkers and I while I appreciate a good English breakfast or Earl Grey a nice strong Earl Grey in the morning mama needs her coffee Mama needs a coffee, so going to Starbucks, get the coffee, and then hopefully going to hit some garage sales. My dad's going to take the boys to the farm today. He's a master gardener, so they have a, a big master gardener farm that they all tend. It's, I think, A&M Agricultural, or I don't know, helps, whatever. Anyway, the kids are going with granddad to the farm, and then they might go to this aquarium or something in Lake Jackson. So he's taking them so I can have a little bit of time, which I very much appreciate. Very much. So let's do this. Coffee. So the chick taking my order at the Starbucks sounded like, I don't know, like a pilot or a flight attendant. Hello and welcome to your Starbucks this morning. And what can I get for you? Be prepared to pull forward for a very smooth ride for your coffee. I'm just like, what would I, what would it sound like if everybody spoke that way, right? Like I'm getting ready to do a ride along. Hello everybody, buckle up for your ride along today. <laughs> We're going to be cruising at an altitude of on the ground. Had to come in for a landing to pick up that hot, hot coffee. For your ride along today, you can expect to be cruising at an altitude of zero uh, feet above ground and be prepared for a little bit of turbulence if there are others at garage sales that are a little elbowy or mouthy. <laughs> but not to worry, your captain is in charge. <laughs> in the event of overinflated prices, please be prepared for oxygen masks to descend from the sky because that's where the oxygen is coming from maybe <laughs> deep breaths and you will get out of there as quickly as possible buckle up and enjoy your ride along all right so this ought to be fun it is Friday morning 8 a.m. a little later than I like to get started but I am hitting the old stomping grounds to see what I see sometimes Friday mornings work out great they have been better in here in Houston been in Austin, that's for sure. But let's go see what we see today. I'm kind of excited. I haven't gotten to do this in a while. In a while. So hopefully there's some something good out there. If not, Goodwill opens at nine and I'll go see if they have jewelry, jewelry jars that I can go pick up or what else. We'll see. Wow, we've already had one garage sale. It was a bust, but hey, 806, it's a good sign. It was mostly clothes, shoes, and like Christmas decorations and stuff. So it wasn't really what I was looking for, which I don't even know what I'm looking for other than jewelry and homeschool stuff. <laughs> so, but I almost stepped in a big wet pile of dog poop and I didn't. So that's good. No, that would have drastically changed the tone of the morning. I only brought one pair of shoes with me. So, so there's that. And we just took my car to the car wash yesterday, so I would have been very unhappy to have gotten car dog do in my car. <laughs> I guess anybody would be, right? All right, so now we're going to keep going along my normal loop that I used to do when we lived here. That's been, that's been the hardest thing for me about Austin is figuring out like a route. I don't know. And now I get it. Like some people say like 
garage sales are horrible in my area or I only do estate sales or I guess it's just regionally totally different even within Texas because here I can just jump in my car and make this loop and go through these close little towns right here and find a bunch usually but in Austin it has been especially where I moved because they're really particular in the county where I am like where you can put signs and if you can put signs and how many you can have for a year and and there's a few spots in Austin where I've had a lot of luck but everything even though Austin is smaller than Houston everything feels so spread out as far as garage sales like I feel like I end up on the freeway driving a lot maybe I'm just not doing it right I don't know I I uh and I know I've hit a couple areas where Chris and uh, Emerson have said this is a good area. But then I never remember where I am because I'm so new. I'm like, okay, great. Where am I? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so that's the challenging part. So We shall see. We shall see. Not giving up. Because that's usually just now. It's my Saturday morning. Because, yeah, Saturday morning. That's when I get to go. But here I am. Friday. Yay. I haven't been able to get any footage yet for you guys, but I just, I, I drove past one and it was like kids clothes. And then this one was clothes and then like just kind of junky furniture and stuff. And like used kitchen stuff. Anyway, it wasn't anything I wanted. No jewelry, nothing. There were like some college books and which I know there's money in, but not not what I'm after right now. Yeah, it, it almost felt like, because they've got a big trailer, so it almost felt like maybe they do storage auctions and just like opened the trailer up and pulled it out in the driveway and had a garage sale, which is fine, you know, whatever. But no thanks, nothing for me. I didn't put on makeup this morning. Is that, is that okay with you guys? Oh, I put on lipstick. Let's be let's be honest. And there's a little bit of eyeliner left from yesterday that I didn't get off. But hey, with what you got, and if you get the chance to go, you go. You go. Okay. I see another garage sale sign. I wonder if it's the same one I went to earlier. Let's find out. Okay. So. I decided to run back to the house real quick before my dad takes the kids out to the farm because my Michael is asthmatic and not spasmodic, well maybe a little bit, but he has asthma and it is an ozone day or a high ozone action day or something like that and so I want to make sure my, I give him his asthma medicine and, he, and give it to my dad so just in case he has an episode while they're out my dad can help him um, with that because honestly his asthma has gotten so much better since we moved to Austin he's maybe had to use as a uh, rescue inhaler once or twice um, when we were here I don't know if it's the air quality or the or what from being in Houston or the humidity I'm not sure but he had to use his inhaler a lot more while we were here. So that's something I've noticed being in Austin. It's a lot drier, so I don't know if that helps. Less pollution maybe, probably. <laughs> um, so yeah, but anyway, I just hit a garage sale on the way back. I spent $18. I got some stuff for homeschool and I got a coach satchel, like a leather. As I was, I, had, I paid the eight bucks for the first stuff and as I was walking out, I saw this leather satchel black leather satchel sitting there I was like oh, that looks like really nice leather um, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit but it looks really good so I went over and looked at it. it had a nice latch you know clasp on it and then I saw it had a coach hang tag and it's that thick coach leather if you know what I'm talking about I'll show it to you in a minute um, and so I went and I was like how much is this then she said 10 bucks so I said sold because that's a good that's a good bag I have a a coach purse with this kind of leather the really thick thick leather um, that I got gosh what I mean it must have been 1997 1998 somewhere in there and it's just a classic black purse black leather purse I mean just totally classic you know 
I prefer that style. If I'm gonna buy a coach bag, generally I prefer one that, if I'm gonna spend that kind of money, that is gonna have a long a longevity, basically. It's gonna have be able to be used over many, many years, you know. I know they, they put out ones that are splashier and trending for the seasons and stuff like that. And I mean, they're all fun and good, and I have actually got one maybe of those. But generally, if I buy one, I want it to be something I can use anytime. Any old time. Okay, let me run my, my boy's medicine in. Here's the coach bag I was telling you about. So here's this coach bag. I saw this, you know, that really thick leather. If you're vegan and you're not into leather, sorry. But it's a good bag. I mean, it's in really good shape. Nice, thick, you know. And then it's got spots for pens and things in there. I don't know if my, my computer will fit in there or not. It might, but we'll see. So yeah, and then it's got this pouch in the back. I mean, this probably cost some, a few hundred bucks new when it was new. Yeah, it's in pretty good shape. You know, the handle. Yeah. I mean, it could be cleaned up a little bit, spruced up a little bit, but for 10 bucks, that's a pretty good bag right there. Woohoo! Woohoo! Right, that's the score of the day so far. <laughs> um, and I also got a few, oh, let's see, I'll show you the science stuff in a bit. But these I got to resell. I wish there were more, but these are um, like border for bedrooms. There were only two, but that's okay. But they're now they're like NASA and space and stuff like that. So those will be, I got those for a buck a piece. So we'll see. Um, I prefer to have more because you know, if you're buying some, you're not gonna need one strip, generally. But they've got spacey theme, NASA, and stuff like that. Got some other stuff, but let's go hit the road and see if we can find some more stuff before we, before our day gets away from us and I have to come back. Ah. All right, so now I'm gonna head towards Pearland and see if I see anything that way. And then there's a Goodwill over there, which opened a little while ago, so. I'm going to go check over at the Goodwill to see what I see. Eee. Cool. So, at least they had a jewelry counter. Most of the Goodwills here in Austin I don't really have much jewelry at all. But I didn't see anything I really wanted to pick up uh, at this jewelry counter. I almost picked up this Playmobil boat, but it ended up having a few broken bits on it, so I ended up putting it back. I saw a sold of this one for about 12 bucks, so it would have been an okay pickup. My guys love Nerf, and I was really considering picking up this Nerf gun. We actually bought one similar to this at a steampunk fair that they had taken apart and painted up to be all steampunk, but oh my gosh, they wanted like $7.99 for this, and they sell on eBay used for about 10 or 12 bucks. This is one of those Rubbermaid Balance Meal Kits. It was kind of cool, but it wasn't in great shape, so I didn't pick it up. Uh, I mean, maybe could have gone for 10 or 12 bucks if you, you know, if I'd gotten it. So the Goodwill is having a fire drill. They made everybody come outside. And now they're making everybody move away from the front of the building, which is really weird, I guess. So a lot of people decided to leave. Lots of people leaving. It's too hot for that. Right? It's August and they're making us come outside and stand around. Cray cray. Wow. It's a bit of a micromanager. A lady went and stood in front of a store next door to the Goodwill and he even went and told her she couldn't stand there. She had to go stand over behind the store under the trees. And she's just like, no. And she's walking that way. She's like, mm -mm, no. <laughs> this is nuts. So that's where he's hurting everybody over there. More than half the store left. <laughs> it is too hot for this. Like 100 degrees out here. I'm gonna melt. I have things in my cart I really want to buy or else I would just leave. How long is he gonna make us all stay out here? This is 
is crazy. Great, great. Oh wait, they're coming back now. I still check through the fabrics and sheets and pillowcases just in case something really awesome pops out at me. Even though I don't typically sell a ton of this anymore, I always still check it out. Vintage sheets and linens can still go for good money depending on the subject matter. I just love fossil tins. Sometimes you can lot up a few and get a pretty good price. If you get them cheap enough, it might be worth it. I didn't get to create a closing for the video, sorry you guys, but I hope you enjoyed the ride along. Go down there and leave a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know you stopped by and I will see you guys really soon. Talk to you later. Bye.